Well, I wanted to give a response uh, to a comment that was made, and I want to break this down for you. Um, you know, any of you that have ever been involved in a car lot um, at, for a living, other than just flipping cars, sooner or later you seem to exhaust your your market um and and i'm going to be honest with you it gets absolutely boring as hell sitting around a car lot and rearranging cars all the time and posting cars and hoping a customer comes in dealing with finance people that uh and don't get me wrong i mean that's all i've done for 40 years but the comment was made why would you go from um, uh, selling cars or running a car lot to driving an Uber? And the question is, is makes sense, but okay. Uh, and I posted a reply uh, on there that me, you know, a business model fits everybody differently. Now, I, we're located, like I said, just outside of Nashville. Now, I don't know the statistics. I know what I've been told. And so um, I'm going to say this, that, that Nashville is, from what I understand, the third um, most uh, busy tourist destination in the country. Now, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Those are other comments that's been made on YouTube. And there is a lot of tourism here in Nashville. But now I'm not driving Uber uh, or Lyft for the tourism business. Now, I do pick up some people at the airport and occasionally uh, run into them, but I'm on the outskirts of Nashville for the most part. So I only log on for the local people that are uh, need a ride to from one destination to another uh, from, well, Lebanon is about 30 miles outside of Nashville. So just like the other day, I posted the video where I picked a gentleman up in Lebanon and took him to Hendersonville, the $35 fare uh, that turned into a car sale. I never would have met that man if it had not been for Uber driving. I never would have gotten the opportunity to offer him a car, helped him out tremendously helped our dealership out tremendously and let me tell you something about if you're going to sell cars you better get real creative on how to make a direct response with your customers and that's what uber and lyft do for me i'm in direct contact with my customers now when they get in this car they need a ride now whether they need a car yet is to be determined when they get in the car. But when they get in the car, one damn thing for sure is they need a ride. So they, when they get in there, then I establish, okay, do you need a ride because you're going to the airport? Do you need a ride because you're meeting someone for dinner or whatever the case may be? Or do you need a ride because your car's broke down? Now, if the car's broke down, it gives me a perfect opportunity to pitch my car lot. Um, you know, in my particular case, and it's for a lot of uh, different four people, but since I'm involved in the car lot, um, as my first priority, uh, I only log on during the day. I don't take runs at night for the Uber money. I don't really care about that, but I am interested in the runs that I take during the day. And the reason that I do that is my runs sometimes, for instance, in the last 19 hours, my runs has averaged me or my car lot has averaged over $100 an hour. Now, that doesn't mean I've been driving for 19 hours. That means I've been online willing to accept a ride for 19 hours. And for because I have been online, even though I didn't drive, that 19 hours, I've still averaged that $100 an hour. So I'm going to tell you folks out there that if you're in a car lot or anything like that, depending on where you are, obviously, Uber and Lyft is not going to work for everybody. For me, it fits my model because I guarantee you, I don't give a damn who it is. Uh, when you can average $100 an hour for your business uh, with virtually uh, hardly any overhead over what you have. I mean, a few bucks in gas, my total gas expense, 
uh, for that $1,900 investment was less than a hundred bucks, probably about, about 70 bucks. And that was the whole time that I was driving. So I hope that answers your question about uh, why I did not leave the car lot to go to Uber I, or Rideshare. I enhanced my prospects to go uh, for my car lot. Do I get all of them? No. I might get, uh, I, I'm going to be happy if I get 10% of my riders that get in this car that I get to sell a car to. And, and that's what matters to me. I think it's absolutely captive advertising. The people in the back seat there have nothing to do but ride and listen to my pitch. Where else are you going to get a place to make your pitch to a captive audience? You know, this is better than the um, advertising in the restroom, the advertising in the bars. This is the best place that I know to make direct response with your customers. Hope that answers your questions. Please like and share this channel if you find it of any value.